This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 3.2. We're continuing on with transformations. Today we'll be looking at reflecting functions. So A and B control reflections. If we have Y is equal to minus F of X, this is a reflection on the X axis. If we have Y is equal to F of negative X, this is a reflection on the Y axis. Here's an example. We plot g of x is equal to f of negative x. Again, we take the key points and reflect them first. Then we copy the curve. And this is g of x. The domain of f, we have negative 4 to negative 1. And the range is negative 3 to 4. When we're reflecting on the y-axis, we just reflect the domain. The range does not change. So we have the domain as 1 to 4. And the range remains at negative 3 to 4. So in general, for this transformation, we negate the domain and the range is unchanged. If we have f of x equals f of negative x, we call this an even function. And an example is f of x equals x to the power of 4 plus 6. And to test this, we just use substitution. f of negative x equals negative x in brackets to the power of 4 plus 6 is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 6. And this equals f of x. And again, when we're substituting, use brackets. If you don't use brackets, you risk getting a negative sign error. Here we have another example. We're going to plot g of x as negative f of x. This is a reflection on the x-axis. So we'll take the key points and reflect it. And then copy the curve as best we can. Our domain here is negative 3 to 4. And our range is 1 to roughly 3.4. The domain and range of the reflection, we have the domain unchanged this time. But the range is reflected. So we have negative 3.4 to negative 1. Notice how we swap and negate. The 1 moves over here, and the 3.4 moves over here. So in general, negate the range, and the domain remains unchanged. Here's another example. Plot g of x is equal to negative f of negative x. This time we're reflecting on both axes. So let's take this point. We'll start with the easy point, which is on the axis. And let's reflect this one. We move over 3 and across the x-axis. This time we move over 2 and then up three. And again, we join the key points. And let's evaluate the domain and range. We have negative three to two and negative three to one. And we see that the domain is negative two to three. And we look at the range and it goes from negative one to three. So, in general, we negate the domain and range. And if we have f of x is equal to negative f of negative x, then we say this function is odd. An example of this is f of x equals x cubed. And to test this, we'll substitute. So, minus f of negative x equals minus negative x cubed. 
and we have three negative signs here and a fourth one that's even so our answer is positive and that's x cubed and that's f of x and just a reminder again substitute with brackets And again, here's some general tips on graphing. The easiest way to reflect a function is plot the function, reflect the key points on the x and or y axis as necessary, then draw the curves between the key points. And one last example, reflect f of x equal to x minus two, all cubed, minus four on the y axis, find g of x for this reflection. We have g of x equal to f of negative x. This equals, and we're substituting negative x for x, and we need to do that in brackets, minus two cubed minus four. This equals negative x minus two cubed minus four. And we can graph this on a graphing calculator. We'd get this result. And where does f of x equal g of x? Well, it equals right here, when x equals zero. And the question for you to answer is, is this always the case? Now let's look at a reflection of f of x on the x-axis. Find h of x for this. So h of x, equals negative f of x, and this is negative, let's put this all in brackets, x minus two cubed minus four, and in brackets. This simplifies to four minus x minus two, all cubed. And the question is, where does f of x equal h of x? Here on the x-axis. And the question for you to answer is, is this always the case? And that completes this lesson.